Napoleon Bonaparte once said, the secret of war lies in the communications. Heading into World War II, the Allied forces knew that the Germans could easily intercept their transmissions. After success in World War I, by using communication codes created by Choctaw Native American tribes, the U.S. military again looked for new ways to shield their communication from the enemy. In 1941, the U.S. Signal Corps turned to Native American Comanche tribes to create a language unknown to the Axis powers. The program was launched at Fort Benning, Georgia. Known as Code Talkers, the Comanche developed a hundred-word lexicon for military terms. The code was unique. Words from the Comanche language that closely resembled army terms were used. Turtle was the code word for tank. Pregnant airplane was used in place of bomber. Hummingbird was substituted for a fighter plane. And battleships were called whales. And the Comanche didn't just develop the language, they took it into the heart of World War II conflicts. The Army's 4th Infantry Division assigned two Comanche soldiers to each regiment, allowing the troops to talk in code across long distances on the battlefields. Eventually, Native American tribes from across the country joined the program, including the Navajo, Cherokee, Cheyenne, Seminole, and Sioux. The Code Talker program was implemented throughout all military branches, creating a complex communication code that the enemy was never able to crack. More than 25,000 Native Americans served during World War II. For their dedication, they received 51 silver stars, 47 bronze stars, and six medals of honor. In 2000, the Honoring the Code Talkers Act was signed into law, and in 2001, early Code Talkers were awarded Congressional Gold and Silver Medals. The U.S. Signal Corps and Native American Code Talkers were an essential part of World War II, creating an unbreakable secret code that kept communication safe and helped win the war. For more information about the Signal Corps, visit gordonhistoricalmuseum.org.